Wow, what's going on YouTube? It's your man, King Bishop, man. It has been a very, very, very long time. But I felt like it was time to finally upload another video. I appreciate everybody that's uh, wrote me comments and messages, checking on me, seeing what I've been doing and how things are going. Yes, I am still trucking. I'm actually in the truck now. Yeah. Um... But man, a lot, a lot has changed. A lot has has gone on, um, and I really just wanted to make a video, man, because um, if you watch any of my previous videos, you kind of got a hint at what my previous profession was. And in my past, man, I was into security and law enforcement, which is a solid career. I mean, you can make a decent living for your family and do well, but. Man, I got into trucking as a backup plan, and it has been the best thing that I ever, ever did. You know, I didn't, I'm not supposed to be a trucker. I'm not a trucker per se. I didn't come from a trucking background or have an uncle or, you know, uh, my, you know my dad or anybody who, who drove trucks. So... I, I didn't know how it was going to work. You know, I kind of just got my class A as a backup. And it, it's the best decision I ever made in my life, man. I, I think that uh, there's not a, a lot of other ways where you can come into an industry. And as long as you're safe, um, you stay off the drugs, and you take care of your license, that you can always find work. And not only can you find work, but you can find good work. Um, you know, not... A twenty or thirty thousand dollar job. I mean, you're talking forty, fifty thousand dollars bare minimum, and find companies that'll pay you upwards of a hundred, a hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. You know, so truck driving has been the best thing that happened to me next to Jesus, man, and that's the truth. Um, and I just want to let people know, man. Listen, you can do it if you're willing to dedicate yourself to learning and um, dedicate yourself to not getting frustrated with the problems you have and your mishaps and your, your, your screw-ups. And you can do it, man. Find yourself a one. Step one is find yourself a good CDL school. And the reason why you want to find yourself a good school is because, like me per se, I had never even driven a stick shift before I got into a truck. So I had a lot coming at me all at once. But because I went to a solid school... Um, they taught me everything I needed to know uh, from basics of how the truck, you know, works to shifting to maneuvering um, and then the industry and how the industry works and all, all those things. I mean, they taught me all of that. I, I didn't know anything about trucking before I got into it. Um, so for that, I want to, you know, I would say, you know, find yourself a good CDL school, you know, and, and then once you find a school, you know, during that time, I know it's a it's, it can be an expensive learning process uh, because if you decide that you don't want to do it, that school doesn't want to hear that, you know. But, man, let me tell you something. If you're in a dead-end job or, you know, you're, you're not the school and education type, but you want a way to be able to provide for your family and provide for them good, man, look into it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Um, there's a lot of money in this industry. There's a lot of work in this industry. And trucks make the world move. You know, you know. And think, think about it this way. <clears throat> when they have bad weather, and during that bad weather, um, you know, snowstorm is coming, and people rush into the grocery stores and buy everything off the shelves. There's no bread, no milk, no eggs. Um, you know, barely any canned goods. And you go into the store the next day and there's still nothing there. Well, why is it? Why is there nothing on those shelves? You know, you go two days down the line and they still, they've gotten a little bit, but they still haven't gotten the bread or they still haven't gotten a specific something you're looking for. And the reason is because the truck hasn't bought it. <laughs> you know, something as simple as your groceries. The truck hasn't bought it. That driver said it wasn't safe. Or that driver just didn't come to work today. You know, it didn't happen. These trucks make the world go around. Everything you enjoy, 
everything you've ever enjoyed, everything you have, got on a truck at one point. I don't care what you think of. I don't care what you think of. I don't care what it is. Your car, um, you know, the lumber for your house, um, yet the clothes you have on. If you got a pig leg, that was on a truck at one point too. Yeah, pig legs come on trucks too. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you, man. Everything you enjoy comes on a truck. So, and when it comes to job security, if everything that we enjoy has to be moved by a certain type of vehicle or by a certain type of person or you know a certain type of profession, it's called job security. You know, because I ate yesterday. You know. I'm going to eat today, and I'm glad that driver came to work and dropped off the stuff I wanted to eat because that's the only way it's going to get there. So think about it, man. I mean, the military used to be an option for people um, who weren't educate, education-minded. You know, they didn't feel like secondary school was their thing. You know, didn't want to go to college, didn't have a trade already. Man, let me tell you something. This CDL, this Class A is real. You know, now is it a major responsibility? Yes, it is not easy. You're not gonna walk in here and learn how to drive the truck in one day. You're not. But if you go to a good school, before you leave that school, you should be confident that you know how to handle and maneuver the truck. You'll learn more about backing, you learn more about the road, you learn more about maneuvering as you progress and you get into your first job, you're gonna learn more. Um, and you're gonna to get to the point where I am now where I'm confident in my truck. Um, I'm in a day cab now, which means I don't have a sleeper. As you can see, it's just a window, you know, nothing but a back. But I was in a sleeper, I wanna say about 30 minutes ago, in a load. And I backed the trailer in the sleeper. Just like I backed it this morning in a day cab. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You will get to that point where you are confident that you can maneuver and handle this truck no matter what comes. You know, number one is safety. You know, if you do everything safety minded, safely minded, and you get it done, <clears throat> you make a check and you come home to your family, it was a good day. So I just made this video to kind of encourage people who are kind of looking for something, you know searching for something but don't know what that something is and that's kind of where I was you know looking around but just not knowing you know just like man I don't I don't know where to look I don't know where to turn I really don't know what I'm going to do but I know what I'm doing is not working look into a quality CDL school CDL stands for commercial driver's license of course but look into a good school man and you know think about the possibilities of what once you learn what you learn you know, think about the possibilities of, um, you know, what could be based on what you, you know, the profession. And the last thing I'm going to say is while you're doing your research and you're looking to see if this is something for you or what the market is and how much money you can make, one thing you do after you look up your CDL school, go to Craigslist. Once you go to Craigslist, Go to United States, go to whatever your state is, and go and type in your city. When you type in your city, and you know it pulls up everything, the whole list of Craigslist ads, of everything they're doing, go to jobs. Once you go to jobs, go to transport. Transport is going to have all the trucking jobs, all the transportation mining jobs. And look at all the CDL Class A jobs that are listed. And after you look at them, click on a few of them and see what the money's paying. Don't worry, you'll thank me later. So, it's your man King Bishop. I'm not going to make this too long. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. My videos will be more consistent now. Scout's on. Peace.